vlogs. Today's a really exciting video for me. I was supposed to be shooting a monthly favourites video today, but um, as I have a new job and I've only recently been paid, I've been trying not to buy lots of little things and I've really been trying to save my money just because I haven't had a lot of it spare. So what I'm doing today is an unboxing slash technically it's an unbagging because there's no box really involved in this. It's an item that I actually paid for about five weeks ago, it's something that I've wanted for a really, really long time and with all the overtime that I was doing in my old job, I decided to treat myself. So the main reason I decided to film this is because when I was actually researching the item that I bought, there was very little information, there weren't really any reviews. Um, I think I found a couple of Instagram pictures and that was pretty much it, there were no solid reviews. So I figured if you guys are interested in this item, as I know a lot of alternative and goth people are, um, then, I mean, you could look at this and get a really good idea of what the item is actually like. So, um, I'm just going to show you the bag that it came in. Obviously, I'm going to cover my address, even though it's not actually my address, autocorrect, fucked up. And apparently I live on Heat Avenue, which I don't. Um, but if I just show you this little sticker that's on the corner, some of you might recognise this and realise what it is I'm about to show you. So um, the sticker is from the company The Church of Sanctus slash Sanctus Clothing and it is something that I've been looking at for a really really long time but finally I bought it, it was actually on sale so I did save quite a bit of money and it is the Sanctus Asylum Coat. I picked up version number three which I'm going to show you guys now. So this is how it came packaged, it came in this really really nice bag which I'm loving. It's a little bit hairy, I'm sorry. It doesn't seem to matter where I put this bag in the house. Ollie Cat lies on top of it. Like, everywhere I put it, he just lies on top of it. So it's kind of fairy. I love the logo, it's so cool. And this would be handy for doing like bits of shopping, but it's nice that they added something extra in there, as well as the item I'm about to show you. And then the other two things are in here, which is um, one of these cards, which says church membership. Um, it doesn't actually really have any information on it, so I'm not sure what all of that is about, but it just says, be thou faithful until death. So I think it's kind of like, you remember now because you bought something kind of thing. And the other card that's in here just has a little bit of um, some information and pictures of their new line, which is the Bloodline Collection. I've had a look at it and they've got some really, really nice things on there. But I'm resisting for now because it's kind of expensive. So that's the logo for the new collection. And there's some of their clothing items on there. There's a couple of things I really, really like. So, without further ado, here is the item that I bought. It is the Asylum Coat version 3, which I bought in black. I'm going to show you guys some footage of me actually wearing the coat because it's kind of big, so I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to show you just sitting here. So, it has this gorgeous, gorgeous fur hood. I mean, it's enormous. Look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. This is all vegan fur, by the way. Um, no animals were harmed to make this. It's vegan suede, vegan fur, and also vegan leather, which I'm really, really pleased about because for some reason, a lot of expensive companies like to use leather, and yeah, it's annoying. So the thing that really swayed me in buying this is the hood because it's enormous for a start. I don't own any warm jackets with a hood, so I figured, you know, it was about time, even though it's April now, it's still shitty weather outside. So yes, there's this enormous hood and then it's really, really long. It's not quite floor length, but it is very long. It has a dipped hem, so it's longer at the front than it is at the back, which is something, again, that I really, really like. It's quite unusual. And then we've got these long PU sleeves, or I'm assuming it's PU, fake leather, veggie leather, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's my only problem with this, is that the sleeves are very slightly, just slightly too long for me, but I mean, I can roll them up inside the jacket and you really can't tell, so it's not a big deal. Um, it doesn't have like a button or a zip closure, it's really more like a cloak and the closure on here, um, it just has like a string closure. That was something I was a little bit worried about is that it might blow open, but the material that's used for the closure actually keeps it closed really, really well. I actually like that I got my coat in a slightly larger size because it makes it a little bit more versatile with the hood. I can have the fur slightly further back or I can pull it further down. And I mean, I said this hood was big, it's absolutely enormous. If you put it straight over your head, I mean like it's absolutely huge, but then um, you can like roll it back a little bit like this, or you can just wear it further back on your head. Um, there's just so many different ways to wear this hood. I really, really like it, it's so warm. The fur is just the softest. It's the softest fake fur I've ever felt. If I didn't know it was fake fur, I would genuinely think it was real. 
I've had this jacket for about a week now and it's super, super warm and cozy. The day it came, I wore it all day and didn't take it off. It's, it looks gorgeous and gothic and it really is just perfect for me. One of the other reasons that I really liked this coat is it's handmade. It's not mass produced, it's handmade. So you're getting something that's unique. These particular versions of the coat, they only have a run of 50 items. So the chances of me walking into somebody else that owns this coat, especially in Pembrokeshire, um, is pretty, pretty slim. Um, and there's one thing that I've got on this little card is I've got number 25 or 50. I ordered this in a size large. I'm now thinking that I probably could have gotten away with a medium, but I wanted to get a large just in case. And you know, if I put on weight or whatever, I'm still gonna fit into it. They also have this coat in a lot of different colors. Personally, I went for the black just because everything I own is black. Um, the main coat is always black, but the fur on the hood is a different color. They have a really gorgeous, like deep raspberry red, which I almost bought. And also they have their um, faux wolf skin hoods, which are equally beautiful. I was really torn between the two, but I did eventually go for the black. As I said before, this was a really special purchase for me. Um, I don't usually spend a lot of money on clothing, but this is something that I've wanted for a long time. So these coats, they retail at £200, which, I mean, that might be a lot of money for some of you. It was a lot of money for me. Um, I know a lot of people spend, like, money on designer clothes and stuff, but this is handmade. It's only a small amount. Someone's put a lot of time and effort into making this, so I'm happy to pay that kind of money. Now, I did get mine on sale, so I only paid £141 for it which um, for something that's handmade and this beautiful and it's amazing quality, I think that's a really, really good deal. This is something that I'm gonna wear most of the year round. Obviously when it's hot weather, I can't wear it, but I live in Pembrokeshire, so we really don't get hot weather that often. The only place you can actually buy these coats is on their website. They also have an Etsy store as well, but I'm pretty sure they didn't have the sale on the Etsy store. So if you are interested in getting yourself a little bit of money off, I would recommend going to their website, which I will link below. As the item's handmade, they don't actually start making the item until you've ordered it, so it took about four weeks for my coat to be made and arrive. The handy thing was they gave me a code the second that I ordered it, so you can type in your code and you can check like when it's been dispatched, when it's being made, which was really, really handy because I'm so impatient, so it was kind of nice keeping up with what was actually going on with my coat. So I hope this was an in-depth enough review. I'm not really sure what else to say about the coat. Just look at it, it's absolutely beautiful. And take my word for it, it's well made. It feels absolutely gorgeous. And I've already received loads of compliments. My mum especially, she absolutely adores this coat. Thanks for watching guys. And if any of you are interested in looking at their new line or some of their older jackets, check out the link in the description bar below. See you guys next week, bye.